Hello there, I'm Janelle Marie. Welcome to Body Beautiful, the show where we talk with local professionals about the latest in cosmetic procedures and medical devices. We're also going to take your calls live on the air. With us today, we have plastic surgeon Dr. Joseph Mealy. We're talking tummy tucks and liposuction. Later, we'll be taking your calls, answering questions you might have. Here's the number. Write this down, because if you want to ask the doctor a question live on the air, this is what you're going to need. 415-561-8753. And we're also going to be posting the phone number to the doctor's office, so be ready to take that down as well. Now, before we get started, any advice we give you today, we want you to consult your own physician first, okay? All right. Welcome back to the show, Dr. Mealy. Nice to be back. Yeah, and thanks for dressing like me. We're yeah, both in purple, by the way. I'm glad you got the memo. It's my favorite color. All right, we're going to talk liposuction now. We've all heard of it, but it's not a weight loss solution. Is that right? So no. what can liposuction do for a patient? It's different than weight loss. When we lose weight, uh, it's lost in a pattern that's genetically programmed. So mm -hmm. we gain weight, it goes certain areas. As we lose weight, it kind of goes away in that same sort of backwards order. Right. With liposuction, we can pick where the fat leaves. So they're oh. complementary. If someone is 100 pounds overweight, liposuction is, is not going to be helpful. Right. About the most we remove at one sitting is 10, 11 pounds. So then they're 90 pounds overweight. It's still not going to be where they want to be. Uh, right. For someone who's close to their ideal weight, who has these disproportionate areas, it's perfect because we can zero in on those areas and remove them and really help the proportions of the body get everything so it's nice curved the, the way that we want it to be. So like the women that work out, they work out a lot, they really take care of themselves, but they just can't get rid of the saddlebags. We hear that a lot. Sure, or sure. maybe a little part in their tummy, but yes. they look great elsewhere. Is that the perfect candidate? That's a great candidate because mm -hmm. they're close to their ideal body weight. There's enough fat there that it can be removed to change the contour, but not so much that it ends up leaving loose skin or other problems behind. So it can balance out different body types, correct? Yes. Yeah, so I have patients who look great from the waist up, and they have those saddlebags with areas around the mm -hmm. hip or the lower belly. And if they lose enough weight for that to go away, they look emaciated. So oh, their body yeah. doesn't look good. So yeah. they can maintain that upper body look they like and get rid of the bulges at the bottom. All right, we have a photo. Take a look at this and tell me what we're seeing on the photo here. I believe we have a before and after. What we got? So this is liposuction of the lower back mm -hmm. and the, the hip area. And she had come in uh, considering something to get rid of that bra bulge. Oh, yeah. Uh, so what we've done is just some liposuction underneath. Her skin was good tone, mm -hmm. so a lot of those folds will diminish. Uh, can't guarantee that they go away because that's where the skin is attached, yeah. uh, but certainly better. And she's much happier both in and out of clothing because of the way that that looks. A lot of women have that problem when they wear the bras. They've got the, ba the back fat or they wear a yes. certain dress yeah. and you've got that awful back fat. Yeah. If that's your only problem, we can really do something about that with liposuction. It helps. Mm -hmm. And that fat that's on the upper part of the, the buttocks tends to make the waist bigger and yeah. makes it harder for clothes to fit and you can sort of get that back into proportion. Is, is there something called back sculpting or, or, or you know, to kind of um, cut out the back? I mean, is there a name there, for that? There is a procedure, you mean more for when there's too much loose skin where yeah. liposuction doesn't work. Yeah, there are back lifts or sometimes oh, we'll incorporate okay. that into a lower body lift if we're going all the way around. Okay, wonderful. So when you have liposuction, will the skin tighten up? The skin will tighten up to the extent that it would tighten up on its own. So okay. the liposuction, no matter what type, it doesn't really make the skin tighten more. Mm -hmm. So we depend on the elastic fibers, the elasticity of the skin itself. When skin is already folding over, probably not a good time to do liposuction. It'll, really? it'll lose its support. It may fold over more. It may actually look worse. Ooh. And in those cases, like the lower belly, we do tummy tucks to get rid of that skin. Yeah. So if you have liposuction once, can you come back and have it again? You can. You yeah. can? Uh, is it a great idea? Mm. It depends on the situation. Yeah. Uh, I think it's not something that can be used serially to maintain weight. And if that's the goal, it's not going to be a helpful solution in the long term. Some people think it is. You get obese women in there and they think that is the solution, but sure. no, 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 no. I've even had doctors refer me patients to try and reduce their weight. Liposuction is not no. the solution. There is bariatric surgery, which is for yeah. people who are quite yes. overweight. Uh, and that is the only surgery I know that really makes people lose weight. All right, so I've always wanted to ask this question. Can you do liposuction on your buttocks? Because I know a lot of women don't like the, you know, the lower buttocks area. Sure. Can you get rid of that with liposuction? It depends on what area you're talking about. Uh, if we're trying to make a nicer curve, yeah. better definition between the buttocks and the thigh, usually the liposuction is done on the upper thigh just below the buttocks. So we can okay. sort of sculpt it so we have a nice round curve at the bottom. If there's extra bulges on the top or the side, that can be removed pretty easily with liposuction. But if the bulge is way at the bottom, that's kind of a danger zone for liposuction. Because if you take that away, it may, it may droop. 
<laughs> and, you know, a droopy drawer is not the goal. It's not the goal, but no. a lot of women want that droop gone. Well, they want the fullness gone. They want the fullness gone. Sure. Well, and again, there are buttocks, lifts, things we can do in that area if that's okay. really a problem. So there's something else you can do? Yes. Okay, wonderful. That's the beautiful thing about plastic surgery. That is. There's, there's always there's something we can do. always something we can do. I love that. All right, if you want more information about Dr. Mealy, you can call 925. He really is a great guy. 943-6353. That's 925-943-6353. Or check him out on the web at either drmealy.com, sanfranciscobreast.com, or at sanfranciscoplasticsurgeryblog.com. Lots of great information. And you know what? Coming up, I think we're going to take some phone calls about tummy tucks. We'll be right back on Body Beautiful. The information and advice given on this program is for general informational purposes only. For medical advice on specific treatments, medical professionals should be consulted. You should not initiate a course of treatment without consulting a qualified doctor. 